We miss festivals, so we've decided to build our dream festival lineups. And today, it's me, and this is Slam Junk Festival. <laughs> So, um, a bit like Dan, I've kind of tried to get a good mix of different genres and styles and tastes, um, but I kind of sp spread them out throughout the entire festival. Um, so, opening day one, also this is very, off the record, this is very specific to me, so, just as a warning. So, opening day one is a band who uh, reunited last uh, reunited in 2019 for a few shows, um, but other than that, they're no longer actually active. It's Have Heart. Oh, but... it's not my chemical romance. No. <laughs> Have Heart of one of my favourite hardcore bands. I just love that band so much. I love the lyrics. Uh, I just think they're great. There's loads of energy. I picture it kind of being a good crowd warmer uh, to get people moving. Um, so I love that band. Following that, Slow the pace down a bit. I've got Bears Den. Might not be that well known. They're like a sort of acoustic, chill, ballady duo. They have two of my favourite albums of all time. Um, and I think I'll have them play one of them, which is So That You Might Hear Me in full. Not in full, they won't have time for their set. Uh, a selection of my favourite songs they'll play. I mean, it's your festival. They can play as long a set as you'd like them to play. Nah, it's all right. They, they, they'll just have like a half an hour sort of set. Following that, I want to bring the energy back up. I've got the story so far. They are one of the best live bands I think I've actually ever seen. And my only request is that Parker Cannon bins off his Liam Gallagher impression for this and actually moves around a bit more. Because they're a great live band. The rest of them are very energetic, but he's kind of fallen into this Liam Gallagher cosplay where he stands in his big long jacket, hands in his, behind in his, his Parker Cannon yeah. jacket. And uh, I want him to be a bit more old school. Uh, after that, I've got a sort of mid-afternoon, early evening, one of, I think, the best festival bands of all time, Don Broco. I've not really got anything I want to add other than I would like for the cowboy that's in all their music videos to be just in the crowd, kind of just so you can interact with him in the pit and stuff. He was on their, their tour that I saw them on when I saw them was on Wembley. Wow. He just he was in the crowd quite a lot. I like, like that. that. Uh, so my sub for day one is uh, one that we've all picked. It's While She Sleeps. Um, I've not really got any specifics for this set um, other than I would like Sam Carter to come out and guest spot on any song that he wants. Surprise me. Uh, I guess that spoils my headliners. It's Architects, day one. I don't have a lot of conditions for this either, other than I want at least three songs of Hollow Crown. I thought that might be... Yeah, yeah. I thought that, Early yeah. Grave, Follow the Water, and then Surprise Me with the third. And also, I want them to somehow... So you know when a headliner plays, it's normally still a bit light, and it goes dark as their set goes on. I want them to halfway through go off stage while it's like dark all the lights go down and then Sam Carter comes back on stage and has the smoke coming out of his jacket like in the animals, like animals. videos and that kind of like starts the second half of their set I don't know how they would do that because I've seen an interview where he said he had to just hold his breath while they put a smoke machine up his shirt um, but I want it to happen so I'd like that to open the second half of their set you want Sam Carter to risk suffocation for you he'll get paid for it he'll, he'll get he'll get a, a damage bonus so what do you think of day one so far food tokens yeah. have heart I've been a band that I think I need to listen to at some point I've heard, heard you rave about them for a while the story so far there's been some absolute tunes from them um, that I uh, again they've been a band that I know going live I'd like to see um, I haven't really listened to Bears Den I don't think it is really for me you've seen them live there was an extra ticket going, let's be honest. That was the whole reason why, and I was begged to go. So, Don Broco, based on the newer song releases, that's got me a lot more enjoyable towards their music. I've never been the biggest fan of them, so th if there's some of these newer songs in... That reminds me, they will play Thug Workout. 
Trust me, James, you, you'd enjoy it. Okay, I'll take I'll take your word for it. Um, and then like Dan, uh, if you heard Dan's one, uh, having sleeps and architects together, um, two of my favorite bands straight away, they kind of lead one, uh, one of them leads well into the other. And you can have that crossover nice. You have that like wave of British metal at the minute. So I, I, I like your friend. Do you have a sleep song that you'd like Sam Carter to come out and feature on? Like, I mean, the obvious answer is that he does Ollie's part in Silent Speaks, but you could just pick any verse from any song that he'll come out and do. Brainwashed. Yeah. I'm inclined to say Civil Isolation. Um, but yeah, as uh, as the day goes, Broco into Sleeps into Architects is just an incredible run of bands. Um, the story so far before it as well was great, but those three just being some of the best British bands around, what a day. Uh, moving on to day two, uh, opening the day up with Counterparts. Um, just a great, another great energetic band, uh, just a nice quick set. Following that, I've got Turnover. Um, I know it's a bit of a change of pace, but actually seeing them live, it's a surprising, surprisingly energetic set. I did toy with them just playing Peripheral Vision in full, but I'll probably just let them do what they want. Following that, I've got a band that, <laughs> when we saw them at Download, James fell asleep, stood up for, and that's Behemoth. Uh, yes, that did happen. I love Behemoth, and to this day I'm baffled that James was able to essentially fall asleep during their set. Um, I was tired, alright? I would just love... If there was a way to make the sky go dark in the middle of the day, just for their set, I'd like to sort that out somehow. That's called Download Festival. <laughs> just have the heavens open, yeah. just clouds everywhere. Uh, following Behemoth, keeping the energy up, I've got Knock Loose. Like you said, Dan, they're just growing from strength to strength every time they release something new. Uh, and I've not seen them live yet, so I think that'd be great. And then my day two sub, Phoebe Bridges. Uh, I know it's a drastic change in pace, but... <laughs> Incredible. Drastic isn't the word. <laughs> <laughs> but she released one of my favourite albums of the year, last year. She sounds great live. Uh, in like videos I've seen and then my day two headliner Metallica I know you two aren't the biggest fans of Metallica but I think credit where it's due they're one of the best bands ever so Metallica and I'd like to have Jason Newstead come out and play a couple on bass what do you guys think of that day? <laughs> oh, I lost the room. <laughs> um, I, I I'd see counterparts and not loose, guaranteed. Did um, have a nap during Behemoth? I'd have a nap during Behemoth again. Um, if I'm there at your festival, I'd stand at the back. I'd enjoy a bit of Enter Sandman one. Those kind of like classic tunes that everyone kind of knows. The guitar hero ones. The guitar hero ones. Um, maybe I bring a guitar hero guitar with me and just Smile pretend. With yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, that's my thoughts on the Saturday. I mean, the counterparts is a great start, but then turnover, all right. But I don't know about putting them between counterparts and behemoth. <laughs> and then I love knocked loose, but what's Phoebe Bridges doing there? Again, I, I I love Phoebe Bridges as well, and I nearly picked her for my lineup. But how's she got there? What's she doing between knocked loose and Metallica? No, it's a bit all over the place, isn't it? Oh, yeah, individually, all those bands are good. Ah, oh, well, let's move on to day three then. Uh, opening up, I've got This Wildlife. Uh, chill, you know, it's Sunday. No one's ever in a good spot on Sunday morning at a festival. So, just something to ease you back in. Uh, following that, I've got Spirit Box. Um, great new band. I love them. I think they're great. Keeping up with the diversity, though, I've got Loyal Karna. One of the best albums I've heard in a long time. Uh, not waving but drowning and I think it'd just be great fun live uh, following that I've got Bring Me James has a surprise look at how f low down they are on the yeah, bit yeah. great band I've got no specifics for their set do what you want although bring the uh, the stage dance that they had at all points east because I think that was a nice touch yeah, that was cool. uh, and then my subs for day three Rage Against the Machine Ooh, I thought they were nailed on for headliner they were in there until they got bumped down. Just incredible band. I've watched their Woodstock 99 set on YouTube more times than I can count. 
they're incredible. Tom Morello is one of the greats. Uh, I just love it. And then my day three headliner, Slipknot. And I would like them to basically make a uh, this set be a celebration of their debut album. So pepper in a few big ones from the other albums, but I want some of the deep cuts from their self-titled debut. No Life, Liberate. I want to hear them live at my festival. Uh, and I'd like them to be in that era of boiler suits and masks. Um, I I, that. Not J and V Man, obviously, and Tortilla Man, I guess. But everyone else. I want Corey in his dreads. I want Clown in the OG mask. Red jumpsuits. I want it. Yeah. Well, Bring Me the Horizon, Rage, and Slipknot. You can't really argue with that. That is that is a good end of the day. And somehow, Loyal Karna before Bring Me the Horizon just makes sense. It does, doesn't it? I feel like it makes sense. Yeah, like, like I echo what Dan said, those top three there are uh, fantastic. The fact that any one of those three could headline their own festival, uh, it may be an absolutely banging end to it. Spirit Box there as well. Um be fantastic no it's, it's good it's a good day I feel like I've won you back after a, a yeah yeah you, you, you draw me back day you, two. Oh, yeah, but, but we're, talk, we're going to talk about the weekend as a whole now yeah and Warren Rage Against the Machine playing the same slot as Phoebe Bridges because I want her to have a long set I mean just selfish I, again, I, I, I think Phoebe Bridges is brilliant but she's not Rage Against the Machine levels is she well that's, I suppose I'll still be there. Oh, I'll, I'll be I'll, I'll be there on the Friday. I'll be there on the Friday. Yeah. I'll be there on the Sunday. No, I I like I like the Friday. Your headliners there in particular. You have a nice like progression up through the Friday. Um, again, like I said, the the last three on the Sunday could headline any festival they want to do. Really. Um, yeah. Well, what do you guys at home think? Did you hate my second day as much as Dan and James? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.